My car has been out of commission lately, and it's afforded me some cool risking rejection opportunities in that I've gone to a meetup on Thursday night. Last Thursday, I went to a meetup for the Higher Brain Living community, and then Friday, I had my Law of Attraction meetup, and then today on Monday, I had a linchpin meetup for Seth Godin's new book, Lynchpin. And each of these times, I've just, the morning of it, I would post a comment on the event and just say, hey, I live in this area of Greenfield, anybody feel like scooping me up? And each time I've been able to get somebody to pick me up, and it's always been somebody I'd never met before. And so I'm, I've been having a cool time of just you know, hopping into a car with strangers and, and talking to them and getting to know them and then showing up to a cool event and then, have, and then getting to talk to them on the way back as well. And it adds, it adds some fun to, to the meetup mix. It adds um, an element of, of randomness because I don't know who they're going to be. You know, I don't know what's coming at me. It's that, it's that element of uncertainty. It's pretty fun. And it's, it's been amazing how passionate these people are. Um, and they're, they're into similar things, obviously, because they're going to the same meetup. And so we, the, it's been really easy for me to connect with them on a level and just hear, them passion, hear their passion and draw something out of them. Um, but for... What what made today's risking rejection a little a bit more scary is that for this event, for this linchpin meetup, I actually had to fill out this thing, and I, I gave them my website, my Twitter account, and I, I put under what have you shipped lately? I put that I've been risking rejection and looking badly each day, and then blogging about it each night, and. Um, and then I went, and then I said some of the highlights, and I just went through and I listed off some of the, the key things I did, like um, pitching my consultant services to a manager I pick and save, and giving spiritual brain massages at Southridge Mall and getting kicked out, and um, and peeing myself twice, and other things that, that might be kind of embarrassing. And it was a little scary to put that out there, but I said, eh, I'll, yeah, who cares? Nobody will probably read it anyway. And um, but then, so to ask for a random ride, I didn't know, I didn't know how. Um, that that's what made it a little scarier because now I'm going to go to this place, I'm going to get a ride, and um, and there's potentially going to be somebody there who's just like, oh, that's the dude who feed himself, um, which would be an interesting situation. And um, so th there was some there was some uh, scariness there, but um, risking rejection, it's it's a lot of fun when you can when when you can just. Put yourself out there and, and meet new people. And in that way, it's um, little carpool situations. It's kind of like the ending I was hoping to get for my hitchhiking. I just wanted to hop into a car with somebody totally random and see where we might go. And and, I, and obviously, I've been trying to get home when I'm hitchhiking. But but this is this was interesting. And it's fun to just get out there and, and mix it up and, and meet new people. And um, if you're going to different meetups like this, I would recommend trying that from time to time just saying hey i'm going to this meetup we're into the same kind of thing anybody want to pick me up and get to talk a little more and it's a great networking tool too because i'm i'm, I'm able to hear a lot of these people's stories i'm able to, to share a lot and it's and it's just it's a good connective thing um, so might want to try that for your next meetup